Good morning, YouTube. Today, we're going to review our 2016 Lamborghini Huracan LP610-4. And yes, it's in purple. So are you recording all of the nefarious activities? If you're new to the channel, my name is Dan, and over here we have Josh. And we are going to take this sucker out for a drive and show you all about it because we just got it in on trade. And come on, it's a purple Lamborghini. Purple Lamborghini, purple Lamborghini. This is exactly what you want. You know you want a purple Lamborghini. I want a purple Lamborghini. I feel like if you're gonna get a Lamborghini, it has to be an outrageous color. I don't even understand why they make white Lamborghinis, seriously. And gray, no, just no, no. You're not allowed to have a gray Lamborghini. Black is sometimes acceptable just because it's like evil or whatever, but anyway. This thing has a couple of aftermarket goodies that you're going to like, so we'll show you all about it. And of course, there are some flaws, and we want to point those out because that's kind of our thing, is showing you everything that's good and bad about this car. For sale through our dealership, NG Supercars. So if you're interested, send us an email, sales at ngsupercars.com. You can make a deal. And also, please like, share, and subscribe. That does help us out. All right, well, let's start off with the front. So it clearly has like an aftermarket splitter that's sticking out so i don't believe that's factory i think these carbon pieces, yeah, these are, pieces aftermarket. are aftermarket now this one appears to have a little bit of battle wounds uh this car was lowered i think uh, at some point and so obviously uh this big ass splitter is just well i mean it sticks out a lot it's gonna get hit there's no way you're not going to uh that appears to only be ppf damage so if someone wants to re PPF it, they can. We are not gonna do that. I'm gonna leave that up to whoever buys this thing, but the rest of the front of the car does have a PPF, so the front clip is PPF'd. Even the headlights are PPF, so that's good. So that, of course, means all this paint is in great shape. And by the way, the paint color is actually from a Lamborghini Diablo, it's a heritage color. It's called Viola 30, and it is a metallic purple, and it is just absolutely stunning stunning in person uh, speaking of ppfs and wraps the roof has a matte black wrap so that is a wrap uh, obviously if you don't like that you can yank it off and hopefully it's in good shape underneath there is also aftermarket carbon fiber right here big side skirts that are all carbon fiber and some matte black ppf right there Probably a good idea to keep that. I'm thinking you could probably get a lot of scuffs and stuff getting in and out of the car and just based on where it is, rocks will be flying around and stuff. And of course we have aftermarket wheels. I think pretty much all Lamborghinis have aftermarket wheels. These ones are actually fairly tasteful in my opinion. I kind of like them. You got the Pirelli P0s. These tires are, well, negotiable. <laughs> I guess I guess is what we'll say about them. Uh, they're pretty much near the end of life, so we can work something out with the pricing uh, if you guys want to make a deal on this thing. In the back, you got an aftermarket diffuser. It is a very large diffuser. And of course, this is actually an aftermarket wing along with a little aftermarket trim piece on the back. So they debadged it. There's no Lamborghini badge, but I mean, it's pretty obvious. You could add one back on easily yeah, if you wanted just, to right there. It's just there. missing right there. You know, if you have to have it say Lamborghini, okay, okay, we get it. You can have it say Lamborghini. These air scoops are also aftermarket, of course. Uh, I wonder if that actually helps it get cooler air. I mean, it seems like it would, right? I don't know. It actually looks kind of cool. Um, we'll pop the engine in just a second because you have to have the keys in it in order to do it, and you have to have the ignition on. So hold on here. Let me hand my lovely assistant, Josh, keys. Oh, it's an Audi key. Yeah, well, I mean. That's an Audi key. Yeah, of course it is. <laughs> it's an Audi. I mean, Lamborghini. <laughs> Ooh. And then the button's way down there by your foot. There we go. All right. They spent, the last owner spent an absolute inordinate amount of money putting forged carbon fiber everything. So the entire engine bay is forged carbon fiber. That is not factory. They also had the cross brace painted to match. That was not factory. And of course you got the beautiful Lamborghini V10 and the firing order. Yes, you gotta always have the firing order in a Lamborghini. It's, it's required by law. Oh, I like the shocks. Those are aftermarket. I Those was... might be factory. You think? Yeah, I've seen these on a couple of Lambos that... Huh. I mean... Put in the comments below, are those factory or not? I don't know. 
moving up front, I guess we should show you the uh, completely worthless trunk. <laughs> All right, yeah, you are uh, not getting a whole lot of space right here. You can fit one backpack, maybe one travel size suitcase. And that's about all you get. A couple other things like washer fluid and I think that's the brake fluid cap. Mm -hmm. And that's all you get. Got the tool kit and the air inflator still here. So that's good. I guess let me show you the inside as long as we are kind of doing the tour of the car. We've got Alcantara seats with a little bit of leather trim. You got Alcantara center console, Alcantara headliner, Alcantara dashboard with leather accents. And then of course, for, uh, forged carbon for the air vents. That's all aftermarket again. And then they also did the carbon fiber steering wheel. So that is not factory. I think they had the carbon fiber uh, overlaid or somehow, I don't know what they did. But anyway, that is not factory. And it's even got the tricolore stitching on the steering wheel, which is pretty awesome. So yeah, it's a, this is a pretty well optioned, beautiful car in purple. I mean, come on. Purple Lamborghini. Purple Lamborghini, purple Lamborghini lurking. Oh, what's back here? Anything? Oh, oh. Now I mean, just stuff. Looks like, oh, SD cards in the back. That's cool. And of course you got the cool starter button with the, uh, you know, fighter pilot little flip switch thing and all the fighter pilot looking switches. Everything's supposed to be all like airplane inspired. And I mean, come on, enough of that. Let's take this thing out for a drive. That's the whole point of this thing. You want to drive this sucker, so let's go. I'm going to drive it. I've never driven a Huracan Yeah, you before. drive it first. I've never driven a Huracan, so I'm curious All how right. it drives. We'll see. All right, YouTube. Let's get a cold start of the... Oh, yeah. That's because I got the camera right on yeah. it. <laughs> it's my bad. When you walk up to this thing, it looks mean. Dude, this thing looks, <laughs> it looks straight up evil. It's awesome. The window switches. Yeah, it took me a second. All the switches are like. They're kind of like that in the uh, Gallardo. Yeah. It's like a modern Gallardo. Well, I guess it is. It is a modern, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this will be fun. I can tell already. <laughs> <laughs> Good sound. Transmission's fast. Yeah. You can hear all the drivetrain noise. Yeah. That's what I was saying is having the, I think they may have changed out the intakes because it's it sounds louder than uh, the last Huracan I drove. You can hear it suck in the air. Yeah, you can hear it go shh, like suck the air. It's kind of cool. It's loud in here. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a noisy road and you're on, yeah. Pirelli, you're on Pirelli's. That's true. It, the, the, the McLaren's a little quieter. Yeah. The 570. I think that's mostly the tires. Yeah. I mean, these Pirelli P0s are not quiet tires. I like the center gauges. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's like Olio. Battery, yeah. Strata, is that like? That's like normal. Normal. Sport. I don't need normal mode. I need sport. At least need sport mode. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely need sport. The seats are pretty comfortable. Yeah, I mean, you're not you're not in a terrible seating position. No, the seat's pretty comfortable. You know, I'm pretty tall, so I'm like looking at the sun visor. That's one complaint. <laughs> Every stoplight, you're you're yeah, creating, you're gonna have to be like this. You're craning your neck down. You know, yeah. you, you can't see it unless you like scooch down. It's kind of annoying, but reasonably spacious. I mean, I've got plenty of foot room back, you know, right here. And it's pretty, com the seats are comfy. Yeah, they actually are really comfortable. And the suspension's not overly harsh. No, you could do a road trip in this. Yeah. It wouldn't be a big deal. This well, is definitely more comfortable. Except than for the backpack part. Yeah. The luggage <laughs> might be a problem. Yeah. You could put a tiny bag right there between the seats. That's all you get. Sounds good. <laughs>
Sold. Oh, and the uh, blinkers are on the steering wheel. Yeah, like the 458. Oh, is that cop? What is that? No, it's not. Alright. Transmission shifts better than the McLaren. You think so? I think it's faster or smoother or something. It's a little bit better. Interesting. Yeah. I'm talking about the 570 because I just drove the 570, so... It's true, you got a good, like good recent comparison. reference. It doesn't have the... Th well, I haven't really got on it yet, but... I can tell that it doesn't. it's not going to have that thrust... No. ...that you get from the McLaren. No, it's going to be more linear. The build quality is much better than the McLaren. Like, just the leather and the Alcantara... Yeah, and the yeah. ...buttons and everything. You There's no squeaks or rattles. Yeah. It, it just feels... So everything feels solid. It's pretty nice. Like, I love the these buttons are all metal. Yeah, right. that's cool. I like the gauges they did right here, like oil pressure and oil temp and everything. It's a digital. That's pretty cool. I like yeah. that. We got a check engine light on. Oh. It's, he must have cleared it before he brought that it to bastard. us. That bastard. 50 bucks says it's the uh, exhaust. Probably. I'm pretty sure. We, I mean, it, yeah. It's got, it's got a... Buyers, buyers are liars. Yeah. He's got a downpipes and a tune on it, so they probably didn't tune out the cats. Uh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> The build, I, I mean, I really like the way they put this together with the leather and this Alcantara. Yeah. This I, did, I can't get over, you know, coming from having a bunch of Audis, how Audi it is in here. Like, if you took this away and said, what kind of car is this? I'll be like, well, it's an Audi. <laughs> the buttons are all the same. Like, yeah. The lighting, like, even the shape of the buttons, the, the dash cluster they stole from an Audi Q5, the mirror adjustment switch, the... The uh, unlock and unlock the oh, yeah. mirror. Yep. Even the stitching on the dash right here is the same as the Audi's. <laughs> but it says Lamborghini. It says Lamborghini. And it's so. got hexagons. Yeah. I mean, if you hadn't been in an Audi, you wouldn't know any better. Yeah. And it's not a bad thing. It makes it so the build quality is better. Better than a McLaren, for instance, or even a Ferrari. Some of the Ferrari, older Ferraris are. Kinda, yeah. eh. Man, it takes forever for the oil to warm up. It's finally warm. I can finally get on it in a second. Yeah. Jeez. I like how they say benzina for fuel. Yeah. Like they use Italian words in a German car that's supposed to be Italian. <laughs> <laughs> that's valid. 14,000 miles on it. Not bad. <laughs> Sounds good. Brakes are good. Yeah. Got the big carbon ceramics. Oh, yeah. Let's go right. These pops are awesome. <laughs> it sounds amazing. That sounds awesome. <laughs> The, tr the transmission is is on point. It, it's exactly like the R8, the second gen R8. Yeah. Feels the same. The exhaust sounds really good, but I would, if it were my car, I would want it a little bit louder. Yeah, I mean, it's a Lamborghini, right? It should yeah. be in your face. Yeah, I would want it just a little bit louder. I feel like if you put an X pipe in there, it'd do better. Yeah. Get rid of whatever big ass muffler is in there, put an X pipe. Yeah. You've already got the down pipes. As far as the handling goes, it's very. Darty, I guess, is the best word for it. Not that that's a bad thing. It's just very like. I think they've got a, a lot of toe in. Yeah, brakes feel awesome. You could daily drive this car. I guess I'm a little jaded because it feels fast, but it doesn't feel that fast. 
Well, it's because you're going for the McLaren world where everything's absurd. Yeah, and not that that's a bad thing, and every car doesn't need to be stupidly fast. This is plenty fast for 99.99% of people. God, it sounds good. Yeah. Once it gets up near 8,000, that it's sounds very. Good. The power is very linear, I feel like, too. It, yeah. it doesn't have surges and, and dead spots. It just kind of pulls all the way. and. With the all-wheel drive, that's going to make it pretty easy to, to track this car. Yeah. Oh, this would be fun on a track. The sound of the turn signal is the same as the Audi. <laughs> when you click it? Yeah. Like the sound that the clicking makes. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's it, funny. It even smells like an Audi in here. You know, you've been in so many cars, every brand has a certain smell when you get in and you're yeah. like, oh, that's a f whatever. It <laughs> smells like an Audi. Ooh, a little squirrely. A little squirrely on that. in alignment. Yeah, that transmission, that's the best part about the car, I think. Yeah, I think if we do an alignment on it, uh, alignment, maybe it tires. Up, maybe rear tires. That mirror. Yeah, fix that crack in the mirror. Yeah, there's a crack in that mirror. We want to fix that. Yeah. Yeah, it should be good to go. That's kind of it. Yeah. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. 2016 Lamborghini Huracan LP610-4, ready for one of you. So send us an email, sales at ngsupercars.com if you have any questions or want to make an offer. We'll call it Mr. Purple. Mr. Purple? I think that's what we're going to call it. I think it should be Lamber ah. Lamborghini. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Come on, it's, yeah, this is a this is punchy in the face. That's what it's supposed to be. So that's gonna do it for this video. Uh, we appreciate you guys watching. Like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. So it's gonna be sweet.